Well, here we are. We're playing Galador Quest. Are you ready to join the defenders of the outer dimension? Not until you go over these info circles. Once a lush, once a lush green realm, much of Arbo, which is a pun on Arbor, has not been laid to waste by Gorm. Red steam rises from the ground, and many creatures have been forced to live below the surface in burrowed out caverns. Fifteen-year-old Nick Bluetooth is a dreamer who loves adventure. He's not sure how he got to the outer dimension. Or where his glinching powers come from, but for one one thing's for certain, he's someone's gotta stop Gorm. Uh, all creatures in the outer dimension can glinch, which means they can swap arms and legs. Nicholas Bluetooth, however, has the ability to glinch without actually swapping, so he doesn't glinch. More like he copies, he's like a Mega Man. Maps are essential to the outer dimension. Without them, there can be no travel between realms. Gorm destroyed the mask with the virus, but did he get them all? Once a chief of- oh, I, I did that out of order, didn't I? Once a chief advisor to the royal court of Galador, Gorm is now the most feared creature of the outer dimension. He's destroyed the maps, wiped out entire species, and conquered most of the realms. Can anyone stop him? Well, maybe we can. We're gonna do this on easy, because there's no real need to do it on hard mode. There's not really a difference, actually, uh, on difficulty. And a lot of the assets of this game are actually gone because the coding for it was very special. And certain mini games cannot be played outside of certain events, otherwise the game will crash and you have to start all over again. Uh, when this game was hosted on the LEGO website, this game also had a save feature. You were able to save your location in the game. However, now, since it's been mirrored onto another website that doesn't have a, uh, a server to hold all this data in, or a LEGO membership website database thing we can't save the game what, what does this mean it means that we gotta do this all in one sitting and hope to god that we don't encounter a game breaking glitch <clears throat> and i have tried to play yeah excuse me I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be drinking water during this as it's gonna be a long time i expect this to take at least a few hours or maybe a couple of hours if i'm doing really well it's a pretty long RPG, considering what you'd expect out of most games online. But anyway, like I said, we have to do this in one sitting. We have to make sure we never get stuck somewhere. Like if you were pushing blocks into something or something like that. I don't know how that would happen. Um, or if you get stuck in a death loop or something like that. So we have to make sure we have to be very careful when playing Galadriel Quest. Otherwise, we'll have to start all over. And that has kept me from playing this game for a while. But now that we're playing FTL, it might be a good idea to play this game, because there's something about the graphics in Galador Quest that are kind of similar to the, a lot of the little people in FTL. Let's move on. So here we are. Initialize Quest. So, uh, there's a, here's a funny thing about uh, Galador Quest. You don't play as Nicholas Bluetooth, you play as a normal... Uh, you, have, you play as a normal... Uh, inhabitant of Arbo. You get to choose your species, your arms, and your legs. You can change arms and legs at any time. However, once you pick your species, that's it. You can't change species. All you can do is change your arms and your legs. Uh, here are the five species. The sick uh, sick Sikatari. Uh, they're like the Amazons. There's the Vinic. They are part creature and part machine. They live in this realm of Drijelvin. They're uh, pretty smart. These are the Vexers, or the Wexers, I guess. The most famous Vexer of all is Jens from the Royal Court of Galdor. He invented Corium, which is something we're going to be uh, encountering very soon. They're very, uh, they're very smart. Smarter than the Vexers, even. There's the Urwal. They are, if you notice, they're actually little tiny aliens, little weak tiny aliens inside a robot body. Which is kind of odd considering that this is a machine and we glinch with them. And then there's the Amphib, which are, you know, amphibians. They look kind of, they, they were Shrek before Shrek. They look pretty Shrek-like, don't they? Anyway, I always pick the Vinic because, I don't know, they're very even. And they can get a lot of things done in this game that uh, normal people normally cannot do. 
their ability to yeah we have oh well, we can let's see all the descriptions Sectari arms are very powerful great for throwing and fighting off enemies Vinic mechanical arms have lots of power and endurance really cool for lifting heavy objects Vexor arms are agile and they increase our brain power so yes even though it's not part of our brain having the arms of a brainiac makes us mm, smarter I, I don't know there's the Urwal arms they're mechanical so they're pretty powerful and there's the Amphib arms which are you know you you, you, you can you can see where it goes same go for all the legs and uh, your character height actually depends on the legs which is actually kind of funny so uh let's see here I think I'll start off as a full blood Vinic. I don't have a particular strategy for this game uh, right now, but the game is easy enough that we can get by having average stats. So let's get on. Let's get on with it. Let's play some of my favorite species of the game, uh, Vinic. Vinics are pretty cool. I really like them. Well, I might go for the uh, Urwal arms. There's a reason I want to go for more power, but I think we'll. Oh, actually, do I want? Who has the agility? Who, who has the agility? Oh, we have the agility. Oh, v Vinix have Vinix have the best agility arms? I didn't even know. Yeah, they do, huh? I want... Uh... Wow. I, I am actually kind of... Like, I don't really... Hmm. Screw it, we're just gonna go Vinix. I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to handle all of the challenges we have faced in front of us. Alright, so first things first. V key to jump. We did it. V to jump. X to push. Yeah, I'm controlling the character with the mouse, by the way, so I apologize for the constant clicking. I really can't do anything about that as my mouse can't really be, not be quiet. Alright, so you pick things up with X, you also throw them with X. Like so. So we're going to be throwing objects. That's actually our main method of attack, throwing. So there we go. Now here comes the most important thing. Here is a person. This is our practice opponent. So in this game, you actually there's no actual fighting. It's just a numbers game. We're going to do a power battle. So we're going to pit our power against this person's power. We Notice we can't see their stats. You kind of have to guess their power. So this is an Arbonian, an average Arbonian. Uh, it looks like a girl, but I think it's a dude, or it's meant to be androgynous at the very best. So, you press let's go, it calculates who has the better power, and you beat them, and you get a point added to whatever you have in, in that challenge. Uh, the Arbonian stats are pretty bad, so we're going to keep our normal limbs. But if you want, we did win, you could take their arms or their legs and glitch. You can't take both of them, however. Alright, this is what we were talking about er earlier. Jens, uh, he invented Corium. This is basically our money so this is quorum it's uh, an important source of energy it's valuable and good for trading so basically gas is money how simplistic all right this is a note this is our quest our quest is to uh, find the maps that escaped gorm there's one here on arbo find the map get the drusel vin and then we continue on our quest so here we are. Let's go on. Uh, if we ever need help, we can go to the help button, which I will probably be um, referencing every now and then. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. Huh. You know, I never used this as a kid. I just kind of learned it all by myself. You know, let's see. I guess... Oh, there's a credits. I needed this. I needed this. Large animal, that's right, I need to look up who uh, who made this stuff, and I want to see if they did anything in FTL. This is our quest map, by the way. Uh, Dredel Vin is over here. There's a lot of places. There's LSE Car, and there's Keck. There's four worlds in this game. It's a pretty big game. This is our player menu. You can see our inventory and our offline history. Uh, we don't have on offline history because this game isn't multiplayer anymore. It's single player only. Here we are. We are in Arbo. Uh, the game's... Uh, Daisy Darts. Yeah, you can you can try and play with other people. Uh, if I fight this guy, I don't think I'll win, actually. I think he's going to beat me and take my legs, if I remember correctly. So let's, let's not do that. Uh, quick, smart, and charming. Let's not do that either. 
So there's a trick to this game. Uh, the trick is that you can grind up your stats if you play mini games. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crap, I don't want to move that. You play- that's gonna be a problem. I don't- I don't want that. I don't want the thing to move. If you play mini games enough, you will have- you'll be able to grind out stats, which is actually very important for us. We, we're gonna need to do that to get past certain things and to access certain areas. So unfortunately, we will need to grind a little bit, and considering that this is all gonna be done in one sitting, you're gonna be there with me for it. I'm- I'm very sorry. I'd be careful if I were you. The eyes and ears of Gorm are everywhere. He doesn't like snoopers. So even though we are on a quest, but uh, I don't want to play Gablot with you. This is a Vaughn, by the way. We didn't see him at all during our intro. We don't get to play as Vaughn, but we can take their arms and leg if we arms and legs if we want to. I actually don't think they're very good, if I remember right. There are some there are some really powerful uh, arms and legs in this game, and I have a general idea of what they are. Crap. A general idea of what they are. And we'll be getting most of them along our quest. Our character's gonna look very weird by the end of the quest, I assume. Alright, let's see here. Oh, this poor Arbore Arboreans, some, for some reason, has Vexor uh, arms and legs. Maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can help him out. Oh, we're not strong enough to help him. Oh, that's too bad. I, I want to help that person. That's definitely something we want to do. We definitely want to uh, help that person. Also, there's a little... You can hear my character make a noise when we hit something. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. This is a save port. Uh, we need to register on the LEGO website, but unfortunately, we can't do that. Not here. Alright, so here we are. This is a very important area of the game. Uh, for a while. This is... Uh, this is the Coral Champ. To collect Coral, you gotta be fast, and Rook is the fastest. You have to... In order to beat Koro, we have to uh, uh, throw these vats of Corium into the big pot. So let's try it. It's... Can, can you tell? Can you tell I've practiced? I've played this game so much to grind out Corium. It's, it's amazing. I've gotten really good at this, and there was a moment, there was a time where I just could not, like, stop playing this. Anyway, the point of doing this, by the way, is to get Corium and to get units added to speed. Um, you may not th realize it, you may not think it's important, uh, you may you may think these are just stat sticks, but these things actually do stuff uh, in the game. Power will actually help you move blocks, agility will help you, agility and speed will help you run and jump. Uh, brains, charm, endurance, I think those just, or whatever, but uh, some of the stats actually do things, which is kind of funny. So let's try it again. Let's go for this vet. And then we'll just yeah, this is I remember doing this. Oh what? You just you just deny him. You just deny this person all the corium. Look at this. Look how good I am at corium throwing. Nope! Ah, oh, I missed it. But I think I can take it from him if he if he, Ah, never mind. Well. Either way. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Either way, we won. So I think I need to get. Oh, I have 34 Corium. How much do I need? Let's... Oh, never mind. Hold on. The more and more we beat this guy, uh, the more Corium we will get. So, playing this over and over will get you increasing, uh, increased returns. I don't know how long I'm gonna make... Nice, he's cool. Alright, so 10 is the max amount of Corium that they'll give me. That's good to know. So let's go on over here. I don't know how long the first episode is going to be or how long the entire thing is going to be. I'm probably going to cut into little pieces because, you know, I like that. Just because I have to do it all at once doesn't mean you have to. I remember when I told you about, told you about strength and how uh, you can lift and move things? Yeah. I can't move this block. I can't do it. I, I just can't. But I can, and I can, I can barely move this, uh... This here medium block. But tiny blocks. Tiny blocks are pretty easy. Alright, this is Vilda. She has some things we want. There's the laser cutter. There is the elevation booster. And then there is the multi lenses. I think we can. I remember we we're able to get. 
the elevator ele elevation booster on our own if we risk our lives on it and I don't know I remember being like hmm the Aruki card game takes brains well we don't have much of that unfortunately I'm afraid these guys have clinched my arms and getting getting clinched by a CPU sucks it's really hard to get it back all right let's see here here's another mini game for us let's try this Push him crates into the compactor twos, and she'll pay us corium. Exactly 10 points worth of junk in the tube, or they'll shut down. Alright. Let's put 10 points of junk worth in the tube. Oh, oh, this is taking forever. I don't know if I'll be able to do this at all. What am I gonna do? Ugh! Alright. I think it's time to explain these. These are power panels. They temporarily increase our stats by a significant amount and allow us to do feats that aren't normally possible. This is the le this is this is how the game lets gamers uh progress with the story if they get stuck. There's usually a power panel somewhere lying around that has the stat that you need to move an object. I've gotta get it one more time. So like here, we didn't have enough power to move the giant block, but obviously it's pretty evident that we need to move them. So the game gave us a little power thing. Right. Ugh, so heavy. Gonna do it. Gonna push it. Gonna push it good. Ugh. All right. Cool. And we got ten bottles of Corian, and that added some power to our stats. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get enough, I'm going to enter and re-enter so that the uh, the boxes spawn, spawn again. I'm going to see if I can save this guy now. I'll stop grinding the power once I can save them. Okay, still not strong enough, but we'll get there. We'll get strong enough. We'll get swole, as they say. Let's go, let's go ahead and try it again. Oh, oh crap. Uh, that's right, they don't respawn, do they? Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be strategic about this. Super strategic! Okay, you know what? Let's get, let's get the, uh, let's get the power panel. Let's get up there. Let's get this going. Let's get this gravy train rolling. By the way, this is a very easy place to get stuck in because of the, because of the, uh, because of the boxes. If you, uh, if you for some reason get stuck behind the block that you can't uh, actually move, you're 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 in a little trouble. So keep that in mind. Let's grab this one. I need to get ten points of this stuff worth set up. So let's see. That's one, five. This will be seven. And then that big one over there will be the third one. It's kind of unfortunate that I have to do this, but the boxes don't respawn, so we're gonna have to do it this way. Alright, I think I have enough space in between all these boxes to move them, so let's get started. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the trick. If You, you can, you can kind of glitch the uh, blocks. Fortunately, it doesn't work unless you can actually move the block, so we have to do this the fair way. Oh, we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! We're gonna move this giant thing! I really should have gone for the robot arms. Notice how the power panel is uh, effect has worn off, but I'm still able to move the block. This is because I've held the button down. As far as I know, pow uh, power panels don't actually uh, apply to talent challenges, so don't don't go thinking you can cheat the game by giving yourself a power up and win a win a glinching match. You can't do that. All right, let's see if we have enough power now. If not, I'll try one more time. After that, I don't think there'll be enough boxes. Nope, still not strong enough. Wow, I really wish I went for those. Uh, I really, really wish I went for the. <laughs> I went for the 
whatchamacallit, what for the robot arms now. Because I don't think I'll be able to get an Urwal arm for a while. Alright. Come on, grab the box. Let's move. Let's do this one more time. We can do this. I mean, technically I need money anyway, so I suppose this is fine. Okay, so this is three. I see four tiny blocks. So that's seven. I need three more points set up. And I need to do this in the correct amount of time as well. Alright. Oh, there's some blocks up here. I'll take this. Let's grab that bl big block up. Let's grab that big block. Big blah, 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 the big block up here. Okay, just position it right, and then hold the button down and just keep going down. Keep going downward. Ooh, that's a big panel over there. That panel's a lot bigger than the other panels. I wonder if this giant power panel gives me more power than a normal power panel, or is it just elevated? Nope, same amount of power. That is unfortunate. Alright, let's get this started. Come on now. Alright, let's grab another power up. Throw this in there. Gonna glitch it and then push it, push it, push it good. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Glitch push, glitch push, glitch push. If you get really close to the block, it auto adjusts you, but because you can push it, it'll push the block instead of you. I ran out of power. I ran out of power. Come on. Ugh, out of power again. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm actually gonna fail this. There we go. Up we go. Come on, little block. That's one. Ugh, this thing is so sensitive. Two. Oh, we got 15 seconds left. Go, 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 go. Come on. We gotta snipe this. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm out of time. I can't do this. I can't do this. No, and I've wasted the blocks. Ah. Uh, oh, that's sad. That makes me real sad. Alright, well, maybe we can't save that guy right now. Maybe we can do it later. So far, okay, let's let's go over let's go over here. As far as I'm concerned, I believe we need Actually, I believe we can get everything on our own. Let's see let's see what we can do first. Here we are in the Arbonian village. Uh, this is this guy wants to play Traka. Oh, if I beat this guy at Traka, no, I can't. I I don't have the brains for it. If I if I could take his arms, I would. Hmm. Speaking of which, I haven't shown you another major feature of this game, have I? These are, these are rest. These are arenas. Now, usually in these arenas, you would find other player characters. Instead, you have bots. Ooh, so this guy wants to wrestle. He needs a lot of power to wrestle. Let's see if we can take him on. Ah, uh, he beat us. How about this guy? We should be able to win. What? He beat me? Oh no. And now begins the problem. I, I thought I, he, I, he was a vexer and like, he had that. Now I am stuck with Arbonian arms. And he took my legs. I've lost everything. I, I wonder why he took my vexer legs though. I I'm pretty sure these are stronger. Still can't do it. So another way to grind out stats is by beating people in the arenas. Let's see, this, let's see if we can beat this guy. Oh boy. We gotta find someone that can, we can beat in this game. Alright, Oh, okay, I'm gonna take this guy's legs. These are street punk female legs. Uh, they're really good in most aspects. So we might want to keep those. They're so good that uh, anybody I lose to will take these. Like if I lost to this guy. He'll take the he'll take the legs, and now I have vexer I have vexer legs. This is bad. 
Um, I might have to try a different challenge if I want to get my stuff back. Oh, he took the Vexter. He took the he took the Vexter stuff. Okay, okay. Let's keep going. This is gonna be a long first video, I think. Uh, he'll probably just take my legs again. Yeah, yeah, he did. Sure did. Let's try again. Ooh, okay. Let's take the. Uh, let's get rid of these arms. There we go. So let's see if we have enough power now to beat up those guys in the arena. That would be. Well, cut, I don't want. I don't want to move the window. I don't want to move the window. There we go. Okay, we can. We can. We save the guy from the. Nice. There's an old miner named Adral who may be able to help him. We can find him in Drachmir's salvage yard. All right, let's go find a draw in the salvage yard. I think this is it, right? Yeah, Drachmir's salvage yard. Let's find a draw. There's somewhere around here, right? I I will change out my limbs though after this. Over here is the Traka Puzzle Arena. So if you want to be brainy, this is where I would have gone if I was stuck with really bad limbs. Because they gave me Vexter legs and Arbonian arms. This is Adril? Did I don't think I don't think Adril is the person I needed to. Well, crap. Okay. I thought there was somebody in here named Drachmir. I'm pretty sure it's Adril that I'm supposed to fight. I guess I need to beat him in order to get my questions answered. So let's uh, let's go to the brain. Let's go to the brain arena. Let's see if we can grab someone's limbs and power up a bit. A vexer, huh? I think he'll win. Okay, definitely not gonna win a brains challenge now. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough stuff. Playing like this. I forget what the best combination was at the beginning, and I was mulling over it too. I didn't know if I wanted the robot arms or not. But we'll see how we can... We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's try and get some wrestling going. Wow, the, they didn't give me the Vexor arms. I kind of want those arms, you know. I, I need stuff. Alright, I, I want my arms back. Thank you. Ooh, this 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 could be good. Damn it! I really want those legs. No, you can just tell by those guys that they don't have any power. Okay, let's try and get some brainy brainy parts. Like street punks are really brainy for some reason. I don't know why. Crap! Took my arms again. Ah, oh, jeez. When you win a challenge, you also get a stat, by the way, so there's that. I don't think I'm going to take your stuff. So let's see. Didn't want to glinch. I want those brain arms, ironically, so I kind of want them to give it to me. Come on. Yeah, nobody wants to glinch with me because all my, arm my parts are crap. I, I have to start winning over and over. Okay, let's see here. I will take your arms. Because they have brains. Alright. If I lose and get your arms, I still have brains. I will not take that because... Yeah, I'm not going to take those arms because... They have they have much less power. They have much less uh, utility than the other ones. Alright, I'm going to take the legs. Alright, now I have enough power to steamroll these guys over, I think. Yep, I, I beat him. Alright, give me give me my legs back. Yes! I'm back to being somewhat normal. And I think if I just beat you, I can uh, get the power point. Now, great! Now I have a lot of power. Now I just need to get some brainy parts. On purpose. I'll take those Vexor arms. That gave me less brains. What? Alright. This guy's probably gonna give me his legs. No, he gave me the... What is going on? Why? Why are these guys doing the logical things? Give me those legs. Alright. 
Street Punk Male. Really powerful. These are Nar Chefs, by the way. Really intellectual. Ooh, give me those arms. Yes! We, we have... We look so stupid, but I think this will work out well. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got some brains. We got some brains. We can we can do this. Yeah, my species isn't very smart to begin with. Looks like my legs aren't doing me any favors. Let's try getting street punk female. That's the re that's the best uh that's the best legs. Uh, th these are the those are the best ones you can get right now. All right. Uh, we got so much power now. We are just bursting with power. We are really breaking the system. Those... We have the same arms and legs, so I think I'll lose. Yep. Because his species is just much better than me. Alright. Well, come on. Give me some... Give me some street punk female. Oh, I don't... I could lose to this guy. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm looking for a specific set. This is an Aquart, by the way. Aquarts are actually kind of bad people, but whatever. <laughs> we are just steerolling people now. I just I just need to get the right amount of the right set of things. You know, I'm gonna take my legs back. That may or may not have been the right choice. The idea is that if you really excel in an arena, you can just do it over and over and over again, and you will be able to just... Crap. Oh, never mind. You'll be able to just kind of grind it over and over so you can max out your stats normally. Yeah, getting getting uh, replacing my legs was a bad idea. Crap, my arms! Oh no! Oh no! I, I, I've, I've lost. It's unfortunate that the uh, bots catch up to you in level because they're bots. Give me those. I want those. Our chefs have lots of agility for some reason. There they are. Yes. Give me those legs. They have brains on them. All right. Now I just need street, street punk female arms. I can just take these arms while I'm at it. Wow, that's really good. Holy cow. But do we have enough brains to beat that person? I doubt we have enough brains. I, I really need more brains. I need so many brains. Oh, we're going to lose to this guy. I knew it. How is it that I'm still able to tell? And we lost our legs again. God dang it. Oh, I need those. Give me those. Yes! Okay. Now we just need to somehow get the legs again. And I have none. You can note you you can notice though, uh, in the top top left, I've become very powerful. For whatever reason. Like, I've become naturally powerful thanks to the, uh... Excuse me. Thanks to the challenges we've been doing over and over again. So the game is easily broken. If I get his arms, I can have brains. There we go. And fib. Oh, there they are again. I need those. I need those arms. Yes. I just need the legs. You know, I'll take these. Crap, that was the wrong choice. Not, not, not all of the parts of a species, gosh darn it, will always have the same kind of stat layout. Which is frustrating, because I really am relying on that to make choices. Uh, he has the arms, legs we need. I need those legs. Now I just need the goddamn arms. Where are they? The 
Oh, geez, they're killing me this time of year. There are the arms. Lose to me. No! <laughs> Why is it always happening? I, God dang it. Oh, now I have extra legs. This is awful. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is so bad. I spent minutes doing this. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I should just cut it off or something like that, but, whoa, we gotta do something. So it's not the glitch, because he's an asshole. Beat me. Oh, no, am I stuck? I don't want to be stuck. I just want to beat that one guy. I want to be smart. I want to be naturally smart. Ooh, we got we had our stuff back. Odd. Okay, maybe we'll have better luck in the other arena. Jesus. All right, let's try. Let's try in here. The obstacle course arena. This is agility. Oh, right. I don't know if I'll be able to beat an awkward just like that. Ah, Jesus. Maybe I should cut away and, uh... S you know what? Let's, let's stop here. You guys know the story for now. And uh, when we come back, I'll have grinded out my stats in brains, agility, and power. I'll see you guys next time.